Cat. It's Maximus here, this time with a review of the Google Titan Security Key Bundle Set. This is a set that's 50 bucks. It was actually on sale last Christmas for a huge amount off. It was like half off or more or something, so I missed out on that. But for 50 bucks, you get two of these security keys. For people who don't know, uh, there's a new way to secure accounts that is slowly rolling out across the internet. And unfortunately, many institutions, financial institutions, banks, investment websites they're not taking advantage of these yet but google is twitter is and it is slowly working rolling out these are physical security keys that essentially are like passwords in a key this does come in a nice cell phone box with the bundle it's about the best deal because you do get two keys one you could use one as a backup and that's really the point of it you get a three mode the key which means near field communication Bluetooth as well as still being able to physically plug it in. Near field would be like when you're using the phone to tap to pay, you'd be able to tap the key against the phone and activate it. What's nice is it does come with a second more traditional USB key. These types of keys are pretty good at physical durability. They're pretty well made. They have really extra thick contacts. They have all sorts of like electrostatic protection. These are also specially designed. The microchips in them are designed to resist attacks, uh, physical reverse engineering attacks, people taking these in the laboratories, etching the chips, you know, trying to directly communicate with the chip. I don't understand how that works, but they're more than just software security. It's also the chip microchip itself has been designed to resist physical attacks. And so you do get a nice little set here that has the nice little box it is a magnetic lid box interestingly interestingly enough which is a nice touch and then you also get a usb cable this is of course a usb micro just because that is still the standard the reason usb c hasn't really take is slowly integrating is just because they keep on coming out with a million different styles of ports and keep on changing them and people just get tired of it to tell you the truth it's pretty wild that we can't come up with a standard that actually lasts a while so they use micro USB on this because it is the most common. They come with the cable. It also comes with a USB-C to USB-A adapter, one of these guys here. So you can still, you don't have to buy the USB-C one because it, it's just a little bit smaller. This you can just physically plug this key into it and then physically plug it into your phone. But this other key is also near field communication as well as physically plugging in. So you can still use this one the tap to authenticate it just doesn't have the wireless bluetooth another thing i was going to mention is that this bluetooth one actually does have one it has a reset button if there's any issues uh and two uh they use a stamped uh apparently aluminum case so that's kind of a nice touch i guess the only other thing of note here is just the fact that on these you want to make sure they have this t3 just make sure you don't get an older set it's recommended that you do buy these from uh you know either directly from the google store or something along those lines just so uh, it adds additional security and i will mention that it does have a void type sticker so you can know if your box has been tampered with and the little bluetooth one when you are bluetooth when you are communicating via bluetooth it does blue blink green when you're trying to use it or blink blue this blinks green when you're trying to activate it and how these work is once they're connected Google will give you a prompt and then you'll either hit the button or you'll actually touch the top of the other key. This will, is a battery light. It'll glow red when it's low and then glow orange when it's charging. When it's done charging, and then it'll just bring, blink the green light up there. So they are pretty to set up. It even comes with actually a surprisingly decent setup guide here that really does walk you through the uh, process, obviously in many different languages. I should also mention one more thing is that this little key also has a little LED, a little green LED letting you know that it's active and ready. Some modern phones like the Google Pixel and like the Galaxy S20 also have these types of security keys built into the phone, but it's a little funky because it's like it works the same way. And if you want to connect it to your, say, Windows desktop PC, uh, it's a little funk add a little issues because you have to get your phone, the blue, you need a, you know, like a wireless Bluetooth adapter and then connect your phone to your PC and use it like one of these keys. So it's just easier to have uh, one of these styles. And when, when they plug in, they kind of, they mimic like a keyboard so you don't have to worry about drivers or anything like that. 
And these are a big deal, especially, you know, even though they're only supported by a few websites, it's, uh, I know myself, I actually have some subscribers <laughs> who have monetized YouTube channels. It's amazing. My cringy channel even has some other uh, real YouTubers subscribe to it. And this is the best way to secure your account. If you search YouTube, there's been a few issues in the last couple of years about people getting their accounts hacked where people do the SIM card swaps. They're using the set two-factor authentication, which is acts, after you type in your username and password, it's you get like a text message on your phone. There's a special like Google Authenticator apps, which kind of add a second layer or do add a second layer of security. But those can be vulnerable if your phone gets lost, stolen, you know, somebody manages to hack it, something like this. Where these, you know, if you want to log in uh, to your YouTube account, once you get it set up to these, uh, you will have to have them, meaning like, say you forgot your security key and you're all uh, traveling. Not a lot of traveling these days, but it will happen again soon. Um, you won't be able to log into your account at all. And that's also the impetus to get the pair because if you lose one, it can apparently be a real hassle trying to recover your account after you've got it set up. Which is surprisingly easy. You just go into your two-factor authentication settings and just go down, select Titan Security Key. And once you do that, it resets all the verification to be these the, the keys and will log you out on all your devices and stuff. And you have to re-log in using these keys. But it is nice that they both support near field. If you don't want to use the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth is more convenient because it can just be in the backpack or something. You can just press the button to authenticate. But this one's uh, real easy too, and all you have to do is put it next to the phone. So anyway, that was just a quick little review of these and just trying to you know make another be another person who brings attention to these. These apparently right now versus all the two-factor authentication and all that type of stuff, these types of security keys here are one of the most absolute best ways to secure your account when you have these uh if somebody steals your phone steals your uh has your password all of that they still can't get in if they don't have these specific devices so these have to you know just like a phys any other physical key that's kind of the, the point of these is they are super duper secure and it gives you that peace and confidence of mind if you lose your phone or something or whatever uh that you just don't have to worry about your account getting hacked. If you're a big YouTuber, you may be, be a target just because people, more people are aware of you. And once again, this ad, just adds that peace of mind where you say, you know, I have these security keys and the account set up with them and I just don't have to worry about it because it's uh, as close to unhackable as we can get right now. And they really are pretty darn secure. So anyway, just want to bring some awareness to that and do a quick little review. And I want to I hope that uh, everybody, as many people as absolutely possible, are staying health, healthy and uh, safe. And if you haven't subscribed to the Caddis Max Maximus channel, please do. And to everybody who has subscribed, I really appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.